I'm Craig. I'm a service user here. Uh, the word of mouth, and it, I didn't even realize that this was in, and I'm only a few miles out the road, but very much. I, I regret that I wasn't here 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the, the, what you, what, what, personally, how, what I enjoy is uh, the friendship, both volunteers and service users. They're all one. There's no, no exception. I'm Mary Martin and I'm a volunteer here with the social services. Uh, um, well, when I, ret when I retired, I decided that I'd like to do something or give something back. And I think I'll have to say I met Sister Halico one day when I was out for a walk. And I asked her, you know, would, was, was there help needed? And she said, yes, of course. And I came to the services and I never looked back since. Yeah. Would you have any advice for people that may know about us this free time? Many people I meet, I always tell them that if they feel bored or, you know, sad at home, here is the place to come. There's something for everybody to do here. Sister Alico, and I'm a Mercy Sister from the Western Province. So, uh, uh, not so much now, but I, I, when the daycare centre opened here, it opened in 1981, and it opened with volunteers. And there were, um, if a volunteer didn't turn up, there was nobody here. So the committee looked for to the Mercy Sisters for to see if there was anybody available. So I came here in 1982, and from there, it I worked. I have put in 40 years of service with the social services. I think it's absolutely fantastic service. And our whole ambition was to uh, enable people to remain in their own homes, not to have to go into nursing homes. And that has certainly proved over the years and has given long life to people. And Regina Power, and I am chairperson of the Balanced Social Services Committee. Well, the committee, this so Balanced Low Social Services was set up originally when a group of people met and responded to the needs in the town. So, as a committee, we were always looking after the needs of town, and we were looking at the, after the elderly people at the moment, with the the day services and the day services, and we're looking after the young people with their preschool. So we plan on keeping these services running as good as we can, along with the meals and wheels. But all the time, at every commission meeting, we are talking about how else can we respond to the needs of our town. Well, it's a fantastic day because it's 50 years is a long time and we're, we're thrilled to have such good services here. So it's a day to thank our volunteers, to thank the people that work here, but it's also a day to thank the people of Ballinasloe because they have been so good to Ballinasloe Social Services over the years, both financially and with their volunteer work.